Are we live? I think YouTube is now live. Excellent. Hey, Internet. This is Nate. And welcome to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. I have never played this game before, um, but it's been like on my mental list for a very, very long time. But I thought it might be fun. A little bit of a chill thing. We'll be doing probably some Lies of P later and then some Blood of the Puck Tower. But I thought this would be a nice little appetizer before the other parts of the stream. Hey, Marcelo, how's it going? Uh, so I guess we're just going to do Ace Attorney. Yeah, I mean, it was nice to have a little bit of a break. Hey, Merritt, how's it going? You love this series to death? I've never played it. This will be brand new for me. Yeah, I know. I've been, like, super incognito over the past little while. Uh... I'll talk more about it in a video. I've got a couple things I need to do for like big events. And then, uh, hey Legion, how's it going? And then I'll talk a little bit about where the channel's going long term another day. Um, but let's just say I'm probably going to pivot <laughs> in the near future uh, with what I'm gonna do with the channel. But for now, let's play some Phoenix Wright. Episode one, the first turnabout, let's do it. I'm ready to kick some ass in the courtroom. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh no, somebody accidentally killed somebody. And it was... That guy! Oh interesting, so you start off knowing who the killer is. And then you have to figure out how to pin it on him. Got it. I'll make it look like he did it. Classic. Classic diversion tactic. Hey, Roman Runner, how's it going? He finally started up drawing. Nice! I'm doing well. Doing well. The chief, uh... I'm not saying she's not uh, a capable attorney. I'm just saying there might have been some other reasons why she got promoted. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm all about jumping in the deep end. That's right, Chief. I like to go fast and deep. <laughs> That's just how I roll. It does say a lot about me. Ooh. Interesting. It's her law firm? I guess it's fair. You need to defend it before the case? That's a little bit of a conflict of interest, but okay, sure, we'll go along with it. It's over! My life and everything, it's over! <laughs> Death despair. <laughs> Oh my god. Bro's got a- he's got no chill. Wait, my name's Nick? Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence, I ain't afraid to die. <laughs> also, what is this court record? Oh, this is stuff that I have. My attorney badge and then the autopsy report. Different profiles of people that I've met. The victim. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. It's all over. I'm finished. I can't live in a world without her. Who did this? Don't worry. I already saw who it was. Newspapers say it was you!
My name is Phoenix Wright. I grew up on a farm with three goats, two chickens, a cow named... I can't think of a cow name. Uh, I thought Betsy, but I feel like Betsy is too stereotypical for a cow. But now I've made my way to the big city and become an attorney. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Okay, okay. Build me apartment. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, huh? Uh, rest of the guy dating her. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Larry Butts. Unfortunate name, but you know what? It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, we're good. Or it's cool at a saying. When something smells, it's usually the... <laughs> oh, my God. It's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. I mean, his parents weren't doing him any favors. Um, I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it. August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. All right, court is in session. Let's do it. I believe. The prosecution is right. Wait, is that the guy? Isn't that the guy that killed her? God. Oh, I'll control my nerves all right. Given the circumstances, I think we should have a test. Oh my God. We're going to get tested right away? Oh, crap. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Hey, Rebirth, how's it going? The def name of the defendant is Larry Butts. Oh! Fuck yeah! Crushing. Crushing it right now. Luckily I've got the court record in case I have any questions. Who is the victim? I know this one! Glad I read the case report cover to cover! It's... wait. <laughs> I know the victim! Victim's name. Yeah, I know. I've already seen it. Her name is Cindy Stone. Will you relax? Hey, Niels, how's it going? I am having a good day. Cindy Stone! Fuck yeah! We're crushing this game, guys. What was the cause of death? She died because she was... Hit with a blunt object! Hmm. This is why I get paid the big bucks, guys. Because I can remember basic facts about the case. <laughs> I feel so much better now that I've answered all these important questions. The victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain the court what the object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. First blood in the clock tower in person. Nice! Yeah, I haven't played in person before. Pain is not the culprit, it just looks like him. Okay. It was found laying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Ooh, damn. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. Fuck you, I know what I'm doing. I know how to press tab. Actually, it's not tab, it's the RB button because I'm using an Xbox controller. Prosecution calls a defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. What do I do now? 
Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information. You'll get your chance to respond later, so be ready. Oh, I'm ready. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited. This could be bad. The, the, the man is wearing a nipple shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet. We were peanut butter and jelly. Didn't they all die? <laughs> she just wasn't... She, she, he got ghosted. That's fair. That's fair. What you describe is generally what we mean by getting dumped. <laughs> She completely abandoned you, seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. One of them? Lies! I don't believe a word of it! <laughs> According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. <gasps> That's gonna be important! Don't forget! She was in Paris. We need to figure out who she was in Paris with. Appears to have returned the day before the murder. Is that now in- that's now in evidence. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar! Older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, this is like the biggest gold digger of all time. How did my mans even get with her for a little while? Really see what kind of woman Stone was. Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? I don't think you want him to answer that question. <gasps> Shit, yeah, he's got a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Let's object! Stop him from answering! My client has no idea. That question is irrelevant to this case. God, he's gonna do it anyway. Oh my god. Let's continue. Motive is to clear everyone. Oh, it's clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <gasps> did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Have him answer honestly. It's better for him to be honest than for it to be found out later. She wasn't home. So I, like, didn't see her. Defend is lying. Lying? Oh, there's a witness! Oh my god! But it's the actual murder. Larry is definitely something, Legion. <laughs> Not an ideal witness is what he is. Was selling newspapers? Oh my god. I bet he doesn't even really sell newspapers. Okay. 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 Uh-huh, uh-huh. phone in her 
apartment wasn't working. Found a public phone. 1 p.m. Wait, hold on. 1 p.m. That's going to become important. Yeah. Mr. Saw it. Yeah. The defendant's sitting right over there. Now it's my turn, bitches. There was a blackout in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Record of the blackout for your perusal. From noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay. Times are going to become very important here. Alright, this is it. This is the time. This is the moment. Hey, what's up? Just push the button and close it again. The start button. That's the, that's the big button on the right. Start. Yeah. You expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies. What? He was lying? <laughs> your client is innocent, right? Then that testimony must... He must have lied. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. Okay, hold on. Time of death. Oh, the time of death would have been 4 to 5 p.m. But he said it was at 1 o'clock when he called. He's a liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh my god, we're gonna destroy this man. Find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Open the court record with the. I know! I found out the contradictions. You can shut up already. I was going to go to Dora selling subscriptions, but I saw a man fleeing the apartment. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. Okay. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Remember the time exactly. Here's where we press. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Holy shit. Hey, 14. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Oh, I will be presenting some evidence. Idiot. Present! Get fucked! You found the body at 1 p.m. Are you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe! Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, uh, nobody to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap, dipshit? Oh, that. Oh, uh, Egyptian! This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Oh, it's not trivial. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saat, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, uh, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, yeah! Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. Hey, Miss B, how's it going? Lies always beget more lies. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Oh, you bet your ass they do. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Okay, let's see how it goes this time. The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. 
There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off. Oh, wait a minute. The television was it couldn't work because of the power outage. You dumb fuck. You're going down. Must have been watching a videotape program. That's why I thought the 1 p.m. Terrible misunderstanding. Oh. Oh. You heard a voice saying the time on tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine your witness. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Camping stream win. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Press. Are you sure it was a television, not a radio? Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it. There's something fishy about this. Something about hearing the television. Present! The power outage! Get fucked! Again! Prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh, you couldn't have, hey, Cooey boy, you couldn't have heard a television or a video. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Gah. Well, I, irk. the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sod? I can ask Lara for uh, motivation for camping. Okay, I will ask her later. No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Ah, uh, wait, I remember now, Mr. Sod. The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. This consistent, these constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. My, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sod. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Okay, let's see it. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used- oh my god, you absolute buffoon. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness gladly. Oh, you're going down, friend. You thought it was bad before? Boom! The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're going down, friend. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was this statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Y you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> you, the lawyer for the defendant, who are you to act like a lawyer? I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may, yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch, you just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My apologies. I see, so the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems? Yes! There's a gaping hole. The witness testified they had never entered the apartment. Oh my god! Clearly a contradiction. Indeed, the witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. <laughs> the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the sound you heard. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saad, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. 
Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain. Dude, this is so not appropriate for a trial. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, that day, I never, look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, oh my god. I saw him, he killed her, and he should burn, give him death. <laughs> you claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Whole case is running on, so better think through it carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw and heard was definitely this clock, a fact which is... Hmm. I think we should examine the clock's batteries. Or try sounding the clock. <gasps> oh my god! We've heard the clock. What are your conclusions to write? It's even three hours off! <laughs> the clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw had heard and the actual time of death. Uh-oh, what's the thing about now? He's right. How am I going to prove that? I was so close. Wait a minute, what? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. You're thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Oh my god, they were in Paris. Yes! It's the passport! Because they came from Paris. My God! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, snap! Mr. Did it! And he's dead. <laughs> I killed him with the power of my lawyering. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, man. Someone completed a defense so quickly and find the true cold breath at the same time. <laughs> uh... I don't see anyone actually cheering, though. Got him! Straight to jail. Larry went to her apartment. The victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Slot let himself in to do his dirty work. Oh, while he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sot grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find and smacked her. 
August 3rd, Defendant Lobby number two. I can't believe I won! Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial since end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. She's this glad. Imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> My life is over. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. What? The case is closed, fool. She was, uh, never mind. Harry Butts, innocent. Harry <laughs> Butts. That's really disturbing. Here's a murder weapon. Oh, you made the clock for her. Tragic. Such a common tale. I, I do want to cry deep inside, Larry. Or should I say Harry? <laughs> the hairiest of butts. This is true. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, the thing itself. Proof positive you weren't some chump to her. This is the clock you made for her, Larry. Don't you get it? She took it with her when she traveled. She put it by her bedside. She would cuddle it at night. Look at all of the claw marks. She was desperate for you. Even in the even in the hands of those sugar daddies. She just wanted her hairy butts back. Next case. Things change, man, how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Oh my god, we're gonna date Mia. Oh my god, she's like really going uh coming on strong here. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Is the chief going to die? Oh no. Yay! Episode 2! Yeah, I mean, we did it. That was like a perfect, perfect first, uh... Ace there. Boring, boring. This is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me, Mia. Mia and Maya. I'm guessing these are the sisters. Oh my god. Finally getting used to having my own place. Oh, Mia's got favors for her sister. Sharp as always, there's a lot of buzz around the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. A clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. This is very tender, but get on with the case. Uh, 
that's interesting. Okay, so there's papers in it. Someone's gonna kill her to try to get the uh, clock, though. Nine o'clock. Ooh, I could also go for a good burger. But I'm doing intermittent fasting right now, and I'm already outside of my time. All I can do is drink water. They're gonna go hit a joint. I mean, that's something to do, I guess. Conversation recorded. Oh, no. 8.57. Cogniferous of my background. That seems like a bad translation. Gathering information is my business, you see. I should have been more careful. Oh my god. Who the hell is this asshole? Red, white, blue. Oh. Blood. Oh no. We gotta examine. Office. My God. Who were you? She's Maya. Get with the program. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still... Dude, that's... That's a little creepy. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly began to fade until she finally was cold. Examine. Start with this. Encrusted with dried blood. How ironic. This weapon became the murder weapon again. Shards of glass shattered on the floor seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. You're not evidence. The chief's chair, a simple, functional design. Pretty good to sit in, too. Probably dead instantly. The thinker, Linexter, must have been the murder weapon. Thinker added to the court record. Glass added to the court record. God, it says Maya. There's a receipt from a department store dated today. Receipt. Oh. And find out what that girl was doing here. Okay. Anything else? Oh, wait, hold on. There's more. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. I'm almost halfway through taking it apart. Someone's screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Today ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ledger hand. Surprising the chief was never good with machines. Well, she used was PC. Okay. 
anything else worth note here? All the chief's important documents are packed in there. So where she had her case files and research for them. Well, I think we've covered everything now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya? Faye? Maya? Oh my god, it's all coming together. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. Never thought there'd be use for evidence like this outside of the courtroom. Uh, let's examine real quick. Sister, yes, younger sister. And you were here visiting. This late at night? Yes, she kept said she wanted to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, I, I was in the clock. It was the thinker. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me, can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, she was already dead. Okay, I can present... Before Maya died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! What? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would my sister write my name? Oh, now I've done it. Oh, shit. Sounds like they were coming this way. Freeze, police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report, okay? Person saying they saw the murder. Must have been the woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. I oh, yeah, wait. She wouldn't have. Uh, whoa, excuse me. This word Maya here, does this mean anything to you? That is my name. Victim drew here, drew this here note in her own blood, you see? Standing over her body menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer, I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? We gotta stop this. We can't let injustice pass. Not on our watch. Taken in for questioning. Didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the detention center. Okay, we're in the detention center for the next morning. All right, we gotta help her out. Of course I will. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, it to me like I had done it. Also heard about you. Heard? Heard about me what? Playing my phone sister the other day. How'd it go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. So we crashed and burned? He's a genius! Ah, that's right! I'm a goddamn genius! One of those strike fear into the heart of evil types. <laughs> the only thing he's lacking is experience. It sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I remember in trouble. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three or more years. Unless you want to be found. Oh my god. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of that person who did this to Mia, I know. Alright, let's examine the camera. This guard looks very suspicious. We're gonna move, we're gonna talk. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what my all my acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. 
The balloon was strange. What is it that you do? Oh, it's not really strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. Oh my god. Hey, MJ, how's it going? She talks to dead people. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. The morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted to hold a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? That clock shaped like the thinker. Well, thanks. Glad to be doing a stream. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes, I'm pretty sure her conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Oh my god, we have so much evidence now. It's over. Detective took my cell phone. Detective Gus will ask for it. Write down, write it down so you don't forget. Nice. I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. It's kind of gotten used to it. Morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to help piece of evidence. This is the thinker clock. Perfectly qualifies as a serial murder. <laughs> when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. You're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. The Faye family. So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. Wait. You're saying a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Ah, damn. Would have been too easy. Something the matter? Um, I was just wondering if I could ask you a favor. This is an address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And while I'm in trouble, do you think you could ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what are your, about your parents? Ah, they're dead. Got it. Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're gonna get me until four this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Do I have anything to present to her? Maybe this broken shards? Present to her my attorney badge. What about the glass? Said they thought like pieces of the broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, let's get out of here. We gotta move. Who killed you? <laughs> Big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Let's try to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I still have to come back later. Wait. I bet it's this guy. Is the murderer. Oh my god, this guy is so wealthy, he doesn't know what to do with himself. And he buys a whole bunch of books he doesn't even read. What an idiot. I guess that's everything. Can't even look at his chair. But where else can I go? Oh, I need to ask him for the thing. He was proven this guy is an absolute idiot. Detective Gumshoe. Anyway, I need her phone back. Yay! Wait, what? 
Tell him straight. <laughs> the painting is very sus, that's true. Okay, nice. Um, I think that's all I wanted to... I can probably... Uh, do I want to give him... Show him the murder weapon? Okay, what about this? The glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were broken on... Okay. Did you do an autopsy and you want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Dick Gumshoe was your old scream name? Oh, nice. Cause of death, single blunt trauma at 9 p.m. Death was instantaneous. Okay. Please put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Of course I can influence the witness. April, May. Oh man. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh my god. He hasn't lost the case since he became prosecutor at age 20. Wow. Well, hopefully the uh, wedding went well. That's kind of cool. That guy deals with forged evidence is all I know. It hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Alright. Let's get out of here. Good lawyer, aren't you? That told me. He said, don't say anything about lawyer. <laughs> All very excited. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go fresh up so I can look at the part of the beautiful witness. Oh my god. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh my god. Observe incident. You sound like just like a lawyer from the movies. You got rained on? She's definitely the killer. No, she's not. Is she? I thought it was the, uh, it's gonna be the lawyer or something. That sucks when it gets, uh, my brother's wedding also had rain. We had to move inside. Oh my God. Uh, dream on, if you wanna know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Who exactly are you? Oh, are you kidding on me? Dude, my job. Man, she is like all in here. <laughs> it was the butler. Just a hunch that she's the killer. I mean, definitely has the same hair color. No. Oh my god, we don't know anything. What about this room? What's up, present? This.
Oh, dang. I'd like to know what this is. What about this? You couldn't recognize a face from this distance. And the flower is the most important thing. Alright, I think we're good. Let's move. Go back to the detention center. And we listen to that again. very young. I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. Could she still be alive? What about her mother? Women in my family have been mediums for generations. They said a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. Ten years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he ruined our mother's life. Oh my god. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. Do you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. A couple of souls to fuel the pink. Oh my god. Just hiding the weapon in her cleavage. <laughs> oh my god. Unusual murder case. I made quite a stir most crime talking about it. They didn't use the spirit medium today. Please convince my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. We thought. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police consultation with the medium had been all carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked to the press. He told all the papers my mother had been a fraud. The media jumped on it big time. My mother came last start the nation. White? Excuse me, White? That was his name. My sister told me. Red, white, blue. Interesting. Okay. We can go back to the other law offices and see if he's there. Oh, there he is. The badge in your collar. Ah, you're a lawyer, are you? Yeah, I am. What do you want? You missed, I missed you? That's true, I did miss you guys. Not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Here I am. What do you want? Um, well, sir, it's about Maya Faye. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Uh-oh. Taking cases on days is quite impossible. Oh, my God. Okay, that was really weird. I'm busy. Oh, my God. The painting in the e-girl's room looked like the thinker. Uh, kind of. What do you mean? No liar worth her salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? Oh, my God. Interesting. Okay, she was an apprentice. Lara, what are you doing here? Get out of here! No, I'm kidding. You can, you can stay. How's it going? We're playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I am in the middle of gathering evidence for a big case, the biggest case of my life. Learn my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? See in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back. That one. Quite a painting. You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. 
Okay. Alright, now we gotta go back and tell her the guy's not gonna do it for her. You bought me a surprise thing? Okay. The sexy boss is also murdered. That's very true. She had large assets. Her brain and her vocabulary, among other things. Hiya! The case of the wiggly mustache. You're back. Did you find the lawyer? Uh, yeah. What do I tell her? I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. Ugh, I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her? Defend her! Made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. <gasps> Why? Why? Well... I... Someone else is the culprit. You are the culprit. Someone else is. How do you know? I have a hunch. There's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. I'm not gonna save. When is this strange behavior? Was that all an act? And the way the lawyer refused to help out Maya. I'm not a coward. I'm gonna go all in. No saves. We're gonna win or we're gonna die. Hey, Hannah. Oh my god, the whole family's here. More than that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there. A long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Lots of slapping make for a good lawyer. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Sniff. It's time. Well, let's fight, fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. She smiled at least. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, is right? is not the save I was on about? Okay, fine. I trust you. You trust me, okay? It's a deal. What next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Okay, is there anything to talk to her about? No. Let's go back to the hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, are you... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of the establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you not know where Miss May be? I believe Miss May is currently using the uh, facilities. Not quite the family. Oh my god, it's Nicholas. <laughs> if you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Wait, no, hey. Why did it seem like every time I come up here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now is my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I just forgot. I'd ask you to inform Miss May there's a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned in. Oh my god. Name of the man, guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? I think not. Hello, ex Nihilo. Good to see you as well. Alright, we're looking at this screwdriver. A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like this be heard to be doing anything like this? Wiretap added. Definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence in the trial, that's for sure, for Maya's sake. I'll get this woman's bottom. Wait, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, we're still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. Okay, it's time. To be continued. I think we're going to continue right now. We got to find out about this girl, Mr. White. I'm nervous, Mr. White. What if they get us, Mr. White? He better be nervous. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Elgeworth. 
I better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> and she is the one who clocks. Or maybe he. Minister Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer of the scene, Detective Gumshoe. I am the one with no socks. <laughs> Witness, please state your name and freshen the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the defendant in charge of homicides down to the precinct, sir. Alright, let's see what he says about the murder. A floor map! Ooh, nice. Okay, got it. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object. Where weapon was found was a statue of the thinker found next to the body. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. Oh! Oh, in a girl's hands, you say. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. We got the floor plans, though. That'll be useful later. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene. Can you tell me why? I had hard evidence. She did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Okay, here's the testimony. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people all there already. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Ms. Fay at the mo uh, Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Didn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. I just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Oh! Okay. Alright, here we go. We gotta press them on things that we think are opportunities. Okay, I think that's fine. There were two people in there already. The defendant, Mrs. May Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Okay, it's all fine. Immediately arrested Mrs. Ms. Maya Fay. Made a witness account describing her. Okay. The witness saw Mrs. Fay at the very moment of the murder. Press. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence you did it, correct? Did, did I say that? Me? Heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's hair claim was hard evidence? Oh my god! Get wrecked! Miss May is suspicious and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I guess she is Pink. Hmm, I guess pressing can have his advantages. Yes! Uh, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Nice. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my very own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya had clearly been written in blood. Lab tests results show that it was the blood of the victims. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Oh wait, but she died instantly! Oh! Oh, you're gonna get fucked, sir! <laughs> oh, you're about to get absolutely destroyed! Oh, you big fat idiot! Oh! I got you. I got you so good. She died instantly. There was no way she could have written anything. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold it! Hold it! Actually writes the killer's name. 
a new movie detective. Oof. Let's talk about this reality. Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. They find it a little odd the victim would write down a name, especially the name of her own sister. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down... No, 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 She did not, because she died instantly. Oh, you're about to get absolutely destroyed. Give me there, give me there, give me there, give me there. Okay, present! Autopsy, death with instantaneous, you fool! You absolute numbskull! You said the victim, Miss Faye, wrote this note that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? Of course she wrote it. How else could she have? No! You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it! This is the report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Oh! But... No budding your way out of this one, detective. Oh, snap! We got him! Order, order! Oh, yeah, I've got a real good point. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? The day after the murder. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy report was request performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate blow due to a blow from a blunt object, but there's a possibility the victim survived for several minutes before the blow. No way. Quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write down Maya. This is all. Oh my god. Mr. Wright, say what you will, this evidence in the report is undeniable. May have lived for a few minutes. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna destroy him. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get her destroyed here. Your name, please. April May, at your service. Short haired Sephiroth. <laughs> this is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? D, in my hotel room, Tee Hee. I checked in right after lunch. This hotel is directly across from the Fay and Company law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Is she cross-dressing? Woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was a mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. The woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her, and she hit her. And the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Okay. Mark, Mark, we saw it. I don't see any... Your Honor. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness assessment was just quite firm, didn't you? You must know her techniques quite well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Absolutely! Let's go. Just have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Let's, let's go. Let's see what she says that looks a little bit suspicious. 9 a.m. at night, I looked out the window, you know. Why? Why did you do that? Why? Like, 
Why, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Well, um, gee, what? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know... I had a feeling. I trying to avoid the question. I should press her a little harder on this one. Go for it. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at the time of night. I, oh... Uh, Badgering my witness. Badgering? This is not trivial. It was the trivial questions. physique. Women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? I'm willing to bet that you're lying. this on a daily basis except her and i'm no expert in fashion but her hairdo looks far from normal to me however the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things the testimony is bogus she was your honor i saw her and so did detective gumshoe oh my god what do you say to that miss may what are you trying to say you mean lawyer i saw what i saw i just think all these trifling little details were necessary I would like to remind you, please omit nothing in your testimony. Testimony again, if you would. Oh my god. Haha! <laughs> we got her. Make her be more specific. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. And the girl's hippie clothes chased ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, that statuey clock, the thinker, I think. Oh wait, she would not have any way to know that it's a clock. A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, didn't look so sorry, you can't win them all. Okay, hold on. Objection! Oh my god. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Oh my god! Can you explain how you know this was a clock? Objection! Objection! No, I will not! And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, once. That was close. What happened now is you answer our question. How did you know it was a clock? That's because I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Faye and Company? No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. No. She couldn't, it couldn't have run. It's empty! Oh! You absolute buffoon! 
This clock is missing its clockwork. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The first is never start a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known as this. Never go against the Nate when your life is on the line. Get fucked. <laughs> All right, Mr. <laughs> Would you care to explain the court is meaning this? The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Fat? Oh, my God. Well, Miss May? Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty somehow. He knew. I'm afraid you forgot one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, it was asked, when was the clockwork removed? It was after the witness heard the clock, and there's no... No, we know! We know because of the phone call! Yes, I can. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening, and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The cell phone. Take a look at this. That's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this is my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone. It contains a recording. A recording with a conversation she had with the victim of the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone. That wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. A good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for this big fella. Let's hear the conversation. They just want me to hold on to the thinker then for you, yes? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't working. Talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this recorded. This was recorded. Which was well before the uh, witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, well, the store again? I got out to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wink. That would make sense. Yes! This clock... <laughs> it's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better... Ex oh! The jokes! The jabs! The absolute slander! I guess it's not really slander. The absolute slap in the face to her testimony. Oh, excuse me. No, it's, it's not on sale today? Oh, 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 wow. Oh, man. Now she's mad. What's it to you, porcupine head? The stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it. She did it. She should die. Oh, people are going to turn on her so fast. Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and witness shall remain calm. Did I, uh, like, lose it? I guess I did. Tee hee, wink. It's scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh dear, does this event have an opinion on this behavior? Miss May, you knew this was a clock because you had heard about it! heard she had heard that it was a clock she heard that's correct your honor there's no other way she could have known the tinker was a clock and i think i can show you the proof oh my god it's all coming together have a look at this i found this in miss may's room <laughs> so the court this is you were tapping the victim miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Ugh, ugh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure it is. Objection overruled. What troubles me is the witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. 
Even if that were the case, which is nice, you still have one thing to prove. Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? We just heard the recording. It's on the recording. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue of the thinker and it tells the time. Use the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Objection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Isn't that, does she seem amused to you? The defend, defense demands an answer. Ah, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. You lawyer! Oh my god. It's no fair all of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Yes! Yes, you are in fact the bad girl. Thank you for admitting. The court seems... The court's seen the real Miss uh, April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. Why the wiretap? The music is building again. You're saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. The court does not condone the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. You have an explanation for the court. Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Pull that off. I, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> Not the first man who's thought that, and of course I can and will. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Alright, let's see what she says. You pledged the fifth. When I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee but cold? Oh my god, quit talking about the coffee. The service when this was not the scene of the murder. But we know that. There's no way I can win unless I tie Miss May somehow to the murder. Call the bellboy? No. Let's mm. Shit, let me look at the court record real quick. Do I have anything else that would help? I think we gotta call the bellboy. What? What's your reason? As I hold that the white having had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree on one condition, I'll consent you calling this witness. Condition. If Miss April's alibi is not called into question after you examine the al the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss cannot have been the killer and it's just she isn't. Thereby, you must accept the guilt. What? We'll accept it. We'll do it. We're gonna get this bellboy, because the bellboy is gonna be able to confirm there was another person in the room. He said it looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good. He's just gonna hold it the whole time. Alright, we gotta get this guy, or we're in huge trouble. Alright, here's his testimony. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Okay, fine. I believe we received a call after 8 a.m. in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. <gasps> Wait a minute! At 9, she said she saw through the window. Okay, that's very straightforward. Oh, I'm, this is, this is going to be very easy. All 
right, let's do this. Because if she if she she couldn't have looked at the window at nine and also been there right at nine of the dot. I brought it to her precisely the requested time. This man was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy. I like something like that, sir. They're fine. Knock to the door. Ahead. I have to find something useful in his testimony. If, it, if he brought it to her himself. Again, he, she couldn't have seen the- she couldn't have witnessed the murder at 9 if she was talking to the bellboy at 9. Hold it. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir, as an endearing... Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she- the guest, sir, favored me with, um, an embarrasser, sir. Sir, is that French for an embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir. More like a, not a French kiss. I wish she had done that. I believe she was most totally swear by my dim, prim demeanor, sir. There's a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Wait, there is. No, it's very obvious. Here's the final question. Hmm. What do we ask him about? I think we ask him about room service. Somebody else in the room! Get fucked! Now we're winning, Lucky Shark. It's over. It's over. Witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you never did ask. Nice try. That's not the sort of thing you should... Quite, indeed. It was the uh, good barrister there. Mr. Edgeworth! <gasps> he asked Matt to mention. Oh my god! Oh my god! It all falls apart! <laughs> Tampering with the with with the witness. Checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought the room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Your honor. We have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who must write is this other person? Simple. It was... The man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss May, April May, was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Oh my god. What a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like to if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oh! Oh, destroyed! Oh, his hubris has come, and it wants payment. Upstairs, amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes, your honor. 
That is all for today, for the trial of Maya Faye. Court is adjourned. Oh my god, we destroyed him. Day two. Mr. Wright, you were amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. The attorney was pretty cool too. Oh my god. This was the last bit of trembling. <laughs> uh, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... I don't think so. Yeah, that's right, because we have to actually clear her completely. Man with Miss K, he's the key. Yeah, 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 we're getting him. We're gonna get him, guys. We're not gonna let this one go. It really is satisfying. <laughs> Heard they arrested her. I guess she's uh, learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this is far from closed. I'm gonna find out more about this man. You think he was the one who... Maybe so. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. All right. Dude, this just got so intense. No, but there's a lot of things. Only one part of the picture on the record. Okay, so we gotta keep that for later. Oh, probably handedness. Okay, let's do it. To be continued. I think we're gonna have to be continued too, guys. All right. So this is where we're gonna end for today. I will definitely be finishing this game, 100%. I am having the time of my life. This is hilarious. I love it. I can see why this game got so popular. It is super fun. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back in probably like 30-ish minutes and we'll do some Lies of P. And then later on, uh, probably Blood on the Clock Tower. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will...